thank you so much. Uh, what, a, what a cool experience. It was funny, we, we were speaking with Greg today. Yeah, and first, can I, I'd be remiss if I didn't, just right from the get-go, Greg, the fact that you've uh, just supported the, the film festival from the first year on to second year, it means so much, and you know, you're one of Laguna Beach's finest, and we're so proud to have you involved, so thank you. You know, it, it, in my opinion, this is one of the best things ever to happen in Laguna Beach. And tied with the art museum's Art and Nature, which happens the first week of November, this is the second week of November. We're going to have solid Novembers for the next hundred years. Yeah. We'll go from Rocktober right into like bro, like Movember. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's no, going to be. The, isn't it like a mustache thing, like a yeah. Movember thing? I'm trying to grow a beard. It's not working out though. Made yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, we were talking earlier with Chris Burkhard and, and Jeff Johnson and um, uh, Nicole about just you know how how they find their stories and these characters. How did you guys get to know each other? I mean, because I'm sorry, but she's the anchor of this film. Oh. I mean, Morgan Freeman's voice, great, <laughs> but without her, it's nothing. No, she's she's <laughs> terrific. Um, well, we found out about her because she did this TV series. She she went to Chapman got her degree in film television, and uh, went back to Alaska, where she grew up, learned to fly, and she decided, okay, I, can, I bet I can pitch a TV show for Discovery Channel about the kind of bush pilots, which her, fa his, her father is, uh, up in Alaska, and tell the story of their family. And she pitched it, it got sold, it was on, on air for like three or four seasons. Uh, terrific success for Discovery Channel. And um, so we saw her on that and said, if we ever need someone really darling and talented and great and a Native American. Oh, and philanthropic and like, <laughs> the list goes on and on. Yeah. Really good runner. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyway, it was it was a, a wild. You know, she's like my third daughter now. Third daughter. She's my adopted third daughter. So, if there if there's opening for just an adopted son, <laughs> I, I think I said I said this earlier today. What is it going to take to get to go on one of his filming trips? Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really a best boy or a grip, but uh, I don't know. Back off. Yeah. Back off. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Exactly. Um, but I want to hear about the, the experience from your, your perspective, and I, and I love I love the fact that this film it, it took it leaned into that Native American uh, uh, angle of it. it. So maybe maybe talk about your experience in doing this film. Obviously, light years different than doing a reality TV show and, and filming confessionals, right? Oh man, it it was so different than filming a reality show. Um, just everything. So in reality, like when we were shooting our Discovery Channel show, like you wake up in the morning and the cameras don't, it doesn't stop and you don't know the story that's happening. And it just, it goes on and on and then the cameras stop at like 10 p.m. and you're like, <laughs> don't know what happened there. With like Greg and everything, everything's pretty planned. And then you're waiting, Greg is like this. He's like, the sun comes up. <laughs> oh, hold on. He's a filmmaker, no, that's no, what you wait, do. No, wait, this is what happens. <laughs> There's a cloud, and he's like, everyone has 10 minutes. There's a break. There's a cloud, so everyone goes and does their thing. And then it comes back, and you're like, no way. It was exactly 10 minutes to the yeah. second. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, that's not happening. And then he goes over, and he's like, oh, the, there's a mountain right there. There's a sun right there. And then Greg's like, and the sun shines. It, it was nuts. I'm like, no way that's not happening. But it was pretty crazy. Um, I don't, I don't it, know. It, it sounds it, fun, like, is what it sounds like. Um, yeah. <laughs> it sounds fun. It is fun. It, no, it was the most fun. It was the most fun I've ever had. It Excellent. was so. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> and, and actually, it's A fun plus. because of these people right here in the front yeah, row they're, they're my right wife there. and my daughter, Megan, and my Brad. wife, Barbara. Yeah. My we can give them a round Megan, of applause. Yeah. And yeah. Brad Olin, Always who's the, back the director of photography on our shoots. And actually, we brought an IMAX camera here. It's in this room. Um, it'll show you what an IMAX film camera is like, the kind of camera that we've used for the past 50 years doing these IMAX films. Now we shoot with a smaller digital camera, which is so much easier. You can do so many things 
and just shoot all day. Um, you know, with with film. Well, I'm noticing too on the on the on the filmmaking aspect, a lot of your your pushes and your moves seem a little bit more nimble than they were in the past. I mean, they, I was surprised oh, yeah. you, you were able to do what you did with your previous films. So th those of you that might not understand just how embedded he is into the IMAX experience, I mean, you've you've definitely paid in uh, probably blood, sweat, and tears, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Over the Brad years. and I have. Yeah. You know, it's a matter of um, trying to shoot something with the biggest camera ever developed um, and the biggest film system ever developed so that you can show it on a gigantic screen with a kind of clarity that you see nowhere else. And now we can do that digitally. And so that's a delight. But we want to encourage everyone to go out and watch this when it's Yeah, it'll back. play at the Spectrum and, and you know 250 other theaters around the world. Wow. Yeah, that's how it is. I want to I want to allow you just to talk about what you you do with uh, the the kids up in Alaska and your kind of give back. I think it's such a great component and of your story. So permission to brag a little bit, um, please. No, it's, it's not bragging. <laughs> okay. um, no, I grew up in a oh, you know up here. <laughs> no, um, no. So I grew up in a place that is very isolated and it's dark a lot and. Um, I guess you don't have a lot of sunlight. And so um, I started a nonprofit called Popping Bubbles. And my whole, I don't know, I just, I feel like all of us, we all live in our own little bubble. We're scared to leave our village or to try new things or talk to people that are different from us or look different from us or believe in a different religion or political views or whatever. And I just think, like, if, if we just popped each other's bubbles, we'd we'd be so much happier. And it, yeah, and yeah, and so, so, so that's my like mission. But um, and and uh, and I'm gonna do that. And I feel like with nature, like with nature, everything it's so simple. Like you go outside, like I like every day, like I go out and run. And there's never been a day where I ran and I felt worse. Like, yeah. you always feel unless better. You, well, unless you pull a hammy or something. But unless yeah. that. But then, even then, yeah. though, you, like, come back and you have a story. And we're all storytellers. Like, that's why I fell in love with Greg and Barb and her, Megan and, like, and Brad. Like, we we love telling stories. And, and it's so great. But And you learn from it. And, man, man Sam, some days suck <laughs> they do some days suck and then but then you grow from it and you learn and then and then you could tell your story and then and then it's and, and then it's good yeah you know and what yeah what and she, i don't know what i just what said. what she does though in her high school class about half of her co-students graduated with her now have gone through depression and and actually taken their lives. And that's what Popping Bubbles is all about. It's trying to get the Native Americans in Alaska, the Inuit, Eskimos, to basically find their direction, see a future that's hopeful to them. And that's what she's doing. That's what her TV show did for them because they knew this was a Native American family. But that's also what this film is trying to do. It's give, give people that haven't been you know, hadn't grown up in Laguna Beach and had great schools and all that, um, a chance to see the future in a positive way. And that, that's what Ariel's trying to do and that's what this film is trying to do too because we have this sensation now which is called nature deficit disorder where kids are actually not smelling the trees and, and feeling the grass and actually getting outside their houses. They're in their computer all day. And even worse with COVID. Um, and you end up getting disconnected from reality in a serious way that can be damaging to you. And so I think what all of this film festival is doing is a positive thing. And I, the thing I love most this year, and especially last year, pre-COVID, is you saw families, um, dads and moms, coming with all their kids watching these movies that they could share inspiration from. And the, uh, 
the, the, the delight to someone in Laguna is just, there are possibilities around the world, and uh, you know, you've just got to go out there and find them. Greg for mayor, everybody. Greg for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> mayor. I want to jump yeah. on that, too, though. It's like, and no, it's so important for people to be in nature and to get outside and to jump in the ocean and to roll in dirt and to climb trees and to um, scrape your elbows and to just get, No, it's so important. He scrapes a lot of elbows, by the way. He, <laughs> he's known, said, he's known to crash quite a bit on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> that must be a mountain biker. <laughs> it must be a mountain biker. Oh, man, all of us are so injured. Like, when I go around and see broken bones and, like, slings, I'm like, those are my people. Yes, get out there. <laughs> no, yeah, then, so... Well, I know we, uh, unfortunately, we have to keep things moving here. I know Ben Warner, he, uh, he did not wake up for the other. I want to know, if, are we going to be able to run this week? Yeah. Okay. Whoever ben. wants to run, she'll be, she'll be up like at 5 a.m. probably. I don't even know. Something crazy. If, if anyone wants to run with me, I'll, I'll go run except okay. Ben. Good to know. Well, um, you guys, how about a round of applause for Greg and Ariel? You guys stay here real quick. We're going to.